Now in this problem, it says that we have a 2.10 kilogram piece of gold, and we need to know how big this uh, piece is, the volume of this piece in milliliters. So we have to convert from kilograms to milliliters. Now it says use what you know about the density of gold and metric conversions to help you solve this problem. So it's going to be a little bit more complex than the previous problems we've been working on. Because I don't know a direct relationship between kilograms and milliliters. Not only do I have to use a density of gold, but I also have to use some metric conversions to get from kilograms to milliliters. So what I do initially is I just write down what I'm looking for first. I always figure out what I'm trying to end with, and I want to know milliliters of this piece of gold. And then I look at the problem, and the only number given to me here is the mass of this piece of gold, 2.10 kilograms. So I write that down in the beginning. And then I put a multiplication sign in a, in a horizontal line because I know I need to get rid of kilograms. So I'm going to put kilograms down here, and I'm going to continue to run conversions until I end up with milliliters. Now, you may or may not know anything about the density of gold or some of these metric conversions. So here's some uh, conversions that may help you out. We do know that kilograms to grams, the relationship is one kilogram is a thousand grams. So we do know that. Now here's the information about the density of gold. You could easily look this up or just use the value that I'm giving you here now. One cubic centimeters is equal to 19.3 grams. Or you could flip it over and say 19.3 grams of gold takes up a volume of one cubic centimeter. Either way, they're equal. And finally, one cubic centimeter is equivalent to one milliliter. Now, as you get better at solving these problems, you'll start to recognize what conversion factors you need and what conversion factors you don't need. Like, for instance, I don't need to know that a thousand milliliters is equal to one liter. That's not going to help me here. But I do need to know these three conversion factors. So, let's start off uh, up here with our kilograms. Always start with what you're looking for, or with what you want to get rid of. So we want to get rid of kilograms, so immediately put kilograms down here. <clears throat> and now we know that since kilograms are on top and kilograms on the bottom, they're going to cancel. Now what is a kilogram equal to? Well, we know out of these three conversion factors, the only one that contains kilograms is this guy. So we're going to write one kilogram, because the one goes with the kg, is equal to a thousand grams. Now I didn't get milliliters yet, so I'm going to have to do multi-steps here. But I did get a little bit closer. I used this conversion factor, I got rid of kilograms, and I got to grams. So now I'm going to keep going. I want grams to cancel out so I can get milliliters. So I'm going to put grams down here. And then I ask myself, what do I know about grams that's going to get me closer to milliliters? Well, this is where the density comes in. I know that 19.3 grams, so these guys go together, 19.3 grams is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. So now grams is going to cancel out. And then I have cubic centimeters up here. Now cubic centimeters, still not milliliters, so I have to do yet another step. And I know, my last conversion factor here, I know that one cubic centimeter is equal to one milliliter. They're the same thing. So I'm going to write down one cubic centimeter on the bottom, because I want cubic centimeters to cancel. And I'm going to write one milliliter on top. Now it looks like the only unit that hasn't canceled is milliliters. And that's perfect, because that's exactly what I want to end with. So keep going, cancel out all your units until you end up with the one that you want to end with. Now it's time for the math. So pick up a calculator, multiply any number that's on top, divide by any number that's on the bottom. Now you could do all the numbers across the top and then divide by all the numbers on the bottom or you could just do it step by step and I think this is a little bit easier for most kids. 2.10 times 1000 divided by 1. Then go to the next conversion factor. Whatever's in your calculator, multiply it by 1, which you don't really need to do, and then hit divided by 19.3. And then keep that number in there, multiply by 1, and divide by 1, which you don't really need to do because it's the same thing, and then hit equals. And when you're all done, you should end up with about 109 milliliters. So if I took a piece of gold that had a mass of 2.10 kilograms, it would have a volume of 109 milliliters. That's the amount of space that it would take up. So these two things, what you start with and what you end with, are equivalent.